News Nation's Ryan Bass joins us live from Orchard Park, just outside of Buffalo, with more on Hanlon's remarkable recovery. Yeah, Kelsey, we all feared the worst when Hamlin had to be revived on the field last Monday night on Monday Night Football. Tonight, just five days later, as you mentioned, he is posting on social media, thanking fans and thanking everyone for all of the prayers and all of the love and support. It is just incredible and remarkable. He did say in that tweet that he is thankful for everyone who has reached out and prayed that this will make me stronger on the road to recovery. Now, DeMar's medical team says that he is still in critical condition, but his breathing on his own and his neurological function is excellent. He's sending those tweets, by the way, from the ICU. As for those treating Hamlin, love and support continues to pour in from all over, but especially from here in Buffalo. And one Bills fan in particular, a local business owner, who made sure that she went above and beyond to take care of those medical professionals that are treating Hamlin and making sure that they are being taken care of. The second it happened, I had my grandma texting me, my uncle texting me, my mom, my dad, everyone asking, you know, what was going on, if I was okay, um, because it was a surreal moment for everyone. Buffalo native Madeline Hall will never forget the moment that she arrived at Cincinnati's Paycor Stadium on Monday night. We're walking up the stairs and then we get to around our seats and it's silent. Madeline, like the rest of the country, felt compelled to help. And I just had this epiphany and I was like, well, I drop food off all the time to essential workers in Buffalo. I'm like, why wouldn't I do that here? Madeline's company, BFS Brand, a local food blog and clothing line, frequently donates a portion of their proceeds to provide meals for healthcare workers back in Buffalo. She decided to crash in Cincinnati a few more days and knew exactly how to help. On Tuesday, she reached out to the Thurman Thomas Family Foundation, a charity run by Bill's legend Thurman Thomas and his wife, to ask if they'd go in on donating food to the UC Hospital healthcare staff, fighting to save DeMar's life and dozens of others. Within an hour, we had a caterer, we had the money, and I had the, you know, I got in contact with the ICU. They said that they would love the food, and from there, it was just history. And then the outpour was just insane. Local restaurants jumped on board. Venmo payments from friends and even strangers started flowing in. Over $2,000 in eight hours. Since Tuesday, Madeline has helped deliver over 400 meals to the hospital staff. And those nurses and doctors, they just, they work so hard. And having a hot meal is like, to them, it's like the golden ticket. You know, they were so thankful for that. Hamlin continues to improve, making remarkable progress, according to his care team. He's now breathing on his own and even FaceTimed into a team meeting on Friday. Hair on the back of my neck stood up when uh, he said, I love you boys, man. And the room went nuts. It was just, uh, it was, uh, it was awesome. Madeline continues to stay in touch with hospital staff, even though she's back in Buffalo. She said Hamlin's injury and recovery brought everyone together like she's never experienced before. I feel like we got a sense of a Buffalo community and people really needed each other. Um, and so, yeah, it just, it was terrible what happened, but you always try to look at the bright side of everything. And Madeline certainly does that. She just has the absolute biggest heart. She actually just texted me a little bit ago and said 75 more meals were just dropped off at UC Medical Center for the night shift staff there treating DeMar Hamlin and others there at that hospital. She actually told me to, Kelsey, that it doesn't stop there. Proceeds from her VIP tailgate tomorrow that's going to be held here at Highmark Stadium ahead of the Bills Patriots game. Part of that and ticket sales will go towards DeMar Hamlin's charity. It's that Chasing M's Foundation Community Toy Drive, which on GoFundMe has, not to, has now topped $8.3 million, Kelsey, in donations. Just incredible. And it's all thanks to those like Madeline. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.